Hey guys, today I'm going to do a little bit something different. Um, this bike is a bike that I had built quite a long time ago, long before I even thought about doing YouTube. It's a flat bar, seven speed Schwinn, uh, Paramount design, 754 aluminum Schwinn road bike. That's a lot of words. <clears throat> Anyways, so this bike is really cool. It rides awesome. Uh, those tires that are on there are actually tubular tires. They're glued onto the rims, so there's no tubes. Um, it's got a nice San, Santa Marco seat. There, there again, a seven-speed drivetrain. That Shimano DRXT thumb shifter and rear derailleur work flawlessly. And it's got a really nice um, Italian crank set on it. But the problem with that crank set is that sprocket, that chain ring that's on there. I cannot keep the chain on that bike for anything. Just riding along, normal, shifting, the chain pops off almost every time I ride. So today, simple fix to um, upgrade this chain ring to uh, a, a narrow wide chain ring so the chain will no longer come off. It is possible for me to change this chain ring out without taking the crank off, but it's just a little easier to be able to set it on something flat and work on it instead of trying to wrestle it, wrestle around the frame and trying to do it the hard way. pretty simple operation. Just undo the five bolts, put the new chain ring on, and put the five bolts back on. The chain ring's pretty cheap too. Um, I don't know, about 15 bucks on Amazon. There's a link in the description on where I got it. Um, you know, there's different chain ring sizes. This is a 130 uh, with five bolts. There's four bolts that are 110 and there's also, I don't know, there's several others. But um, generally, this chain ring, and I, it's hard to see it, but there's um, alternating wide and narrow teeth on it. And those provide more engagement to the, to the chain, so it has less, less slop and less likely for it to come off. The uh, only other really reliable way to keep the chain from falling off the chain ring is to have a um, rear derailleur with a clutch on it. But this bike doesn't deserve a modern looking um, rear derailleur. It's, it's kind of a vintage looking ride and I wanted to keep the, uh, the look of the, that XT derailleur. You also might be wondering where I got those great boots that I'm wearing for the shop. Yeah, well, I am in Florida. Over the holidays, I was able to get down and um, 
the spike actually lives down in Florida and is used by the family to uh, run around around some condos and so forth. So um, I'm lucky to have have it and um, I'm, you know just trying to keep these bikes going here and fortunately I don't have all my tools but there's enough to to get this job done. So there it is. Not much of a big difference in the looks. I was worried about how the black was going to look because I really wanted a chrome narrow wide, but I couldn't find one. So I went with black and I'm actually happy with the way it turned out. Looks still looks pretty good. And uh, there's one more thing I want to show you that's interesting about this bike. There's no seat post clamp. So that Suntour seat post actually has a quill inside of it. And you crank on that Allen bolt and the quill actuates and wedges itself into the tube. So, pretty rare. I don't see a lot of bikes like that, but that's kind of a cool little feature. Anyways, so let's go take it for a ride. very happy now. This bike no longer drops chains. Now I can reliably scoot this thing around and it's super fast, super fun, super nimble. I like uh, these old Schwinn's are pretty darn cool. I kind of wish Schwinn still was what it used to be. As you can tell from a lot of my other builds, I'm, I'm kind of a Schwinn guy at heart. But um, anyways, this one's a good one and it's going to stay in the stable for quite a while. As we move into 2024, I'm going to obviously leave this tropical paradise and head back up into uh, the Great White North where it's nice and cold and snowy. But never fear, I still I have about six bikes that I have sitting there ready to go and ready to, to work on. So stay tuned, like and subscribe. Uh, there's more of these builds coming in detail. Pretty interesting stuff coming up. So hope to see you next time. Thanks.